Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is all about testing the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So I really wanted to see if this primer was worth the hype and if it actually really did work. This video is a little bit lengthy because it's going to be fairly comprehensive, so I will put a timestamp below on what my actual final thoughts are, but I wanted to go through what my testing process was, we'll go through some photos, and I've also included video footage of all the testing that I did. So if you just want to skip all that crap and hear what my final thoughts are, the timestamp's down below. As you can see, the primer that I have is just the mini version. So I bought this mini version for $20 Canadian off the Sephora Canada website. The full size version, this is 10 milliliters, the full size version is 45 milliliters and it retails for $40 Canadian. Let's quickly talk about what the website claims for this primer. It says it's plant derived seed extract hydrates for blissed out skin. <laughs> A shot of blue agave extract forms an invisible layer to grip makeup for all day holds. Allow formula one minute to fully absorb to activate full grip effect. Aloe water, hyaluronic acid, sweet cherry, vitamins B3 and B5 boost skin for a healthier looking base and glassy glow. It's silicone free, oil free, green tinted formula blends in clear to work across all skin tones and types. So I will say that when you do put this on, you will get like a really nice glow. Like it actually looks pretty nice on its own. If you have pretty nice skin and you just want that sort of all over slight glow, you will actually get that by just putting this on. The other thing I want to point out is it does say it has aloe water. Now I am sensitive to aloe. It makes my skin go like blotchy red. Uh, I know this because I tried an aloe gel and this doesn't do that. I don't have any weird effects from this. Uh, there's, I didn't actually break out from this. I didn't, again, have any blotchiness or like I kind of have an eczema patch. It didn't really affect that at all. So yeah, points for that. It did not affect how my skin, like my skin did not react to it. And even though it does have that tint, yeah, it goes on clear. You don't really see it at all. I tested this primer over 10 days against six other primers and using nine different foundations. Yeah, that's probably bad science because that's way too many variables, but hey, this is real life. I only have so much time and so many ways I can test something and just one little face. So that's what I did. The six other primers I tested against were the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, the Benefit Cosmetics The Professional Primer, the VDL Lumi Layer Primer for Fresh, the Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer, the Touch and Soul No, no Pore Blob Pore Blem. I always have a hard time saying that one. And the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. So you'll see here in the list that out of uh, price comparison, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is actually in the middle of the pack, to the bottom of the middle of the pack actually. So it is one of the more affordable primers that you can buy from the mid-range priced primers nine foundations that I tested with. So I did test over 10 days and I have nine foundations because I did try one foundation twice just because I had issues with it the first time I tried it. So in no particular order, the nine foundations I tested with was the ABH Cool Beige Foundation Stick, the Makeup Forever HD in R20, number three was Clinique Even Better Glow in CN28 Ivory, Number four is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 205 Natural Beige. Number five, actually, and just to point out, that shade is totally not for me. I actually bought that to use for somebody else and then I ended up just hanging on to it. And yeah, it's definitely not my shade, which you will see in, in the photos in the video. Number five is the Maybelline uh, Matte, uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in, in 115 Ivory. Number six was CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir in 605. Number seven is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in 435 Rose Vanilla. Number eight is the Tarte, C Tarte Clay Stick in Light Beige. And number nine is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in M20 Warm Beige. Now, interestingly enough, so I do have a cool undertone. I have, I would say fairly normal skin i have some sometimes an oily t-zone sometimes some dry patches but for the most part my skin is fairly normal and i'm definitely more of a cool toned uh foundation cool tone undertone not that that really affects primer but just so you know that's where the shade range comes in as i said i did test this over 10 days what we'll do now is we'll go through 
photos of the 10 days and I'll talk about what I see in the photos and I'll talk about what I saw in the video footage but I'll also include the video footage after that. So if you really want to see the video footage, it's a lot of up close um, and maybe not so flattering footage, uh, but there's a couple a couple puppy moments in there. If you do want to see a little bit of Harley, you can always just kind of fast forward and see him. Such a little cutie. And after all that, I will have my final thoughts. Now what we're gonna do is go through photos from each of the days. So I have sort of before and after photos from day one through day 10. And I'm just gonna talk about what I see in the photos. I'm also gonna talk about what I saw in the video footage, which again, I said, I'll tack that on after so you can see what I was referring to. I want to mention from day one through five, I did set my face lightly with powder with my CoverGirl Clean uh, Foundation uh, Powder, or Translucent Powder. I'll put the name down below. It's what it's it's what's in my project pan. Um, again, I started doing that the first two days, and I realized, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. But it was habit because it's in my project pan, so I just continued using that for five days, and then for the remaining five days, I used my Puranata, um, again, sheer translucent setting powder for five days. Again, just kind of a sheer set using the powder. And on all 10 days, I did use my Urban Decay uh, setting spray, the All Nighter setting spray. Again, it's something that I always use and I realized after the first couple days that I did use it. Again, I just did a light spray. I'm not really using it very heavy. So I did want to make that apparent though, that I did use those two products uh, as well that may or may not affect the longevity and the wear of my foundation. Looking at the photo for day one, I feel like on the milk side, my bronzer and contour around sort of like near my ear looks a little bit more intense. You can kind of see it, but again, it's kind of like in the before photo, it's kind of intense too. So I'm not really sure if it was just bad application. I do feel like looking at my cheek area, I don't see a whole lot of difference. Um, you can definitely see that there's foundation worn off in multiple places on both sides. From the video, again, it was more apparent that the bronzer and highlighter on the left side seemed to be uh, more apparent on the milk side. And a lot of the foundation was worn off around my mouth, uh, but that was because I did do my lip liner swatching video that day. So I was definitely rubbing off uh, some of the foundation around my mouth. Just, I was trying not to, but you know, it's, it's hard to be perfect. Also on day one, I used the ABH Stick Foundation in Cool Beige. And I talked about this in video. I had some pulling, pilling. So you're supposed to let the primer set for a minute before putting foundation on. I did that pretty much every day. I didn't time it for a minute, but I let it set for a little bit. But that day I felt like I let it set for quite a while and I thought maybe that had an effect on it. So I did go back and test that foundation another day with the primer and I'll talk about that on that day. On day two, I used the Hydro Grip Primer and I did that against the Fab uh, Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. And the foundation I used today on day two was the Maybelline uh, Matte and Poreless in 115. So this is the foundation that's actually in my project pan as well. And I'm actually wearing that in the video today. So wearing that a lot. On day two, I feel like looking at the pictures, again, it looks like a little bit, it definitely looks like um, in the photo that the foundation is worn off quite a bit on the fab side compared to the milk side. When I went in the video, I really did seem to notice a difference again on my cheek area that the foundation seemed to be gone on the fab side. Truth be told, I think this day is the only day that I really noticed a difference, which again, we'll talk about later. I did use the fab primer again another day and had different results, so. We'll get to that. Day three, I use the Hydro Grip Primer against the VDL Primer. So the VDL Primer I'm actually now using in my project pan. And the foundation that I'm using is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in R24. I think this is called like rose or pink or something. Yeah, I think the name is, shade name is actually called pink, which it actually looks very pink in the bottle. But for me, this foundation is actually a really good shade match. It's very surprising because when you look at it in the bottle, it doesn't look like that. Anyway, again, looking at the photos, I feel like the milk side slightly looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit better on the cheek area, um, around the jawline. It looks like the foundation stayed a little bit better. Again, looks like maybe some of my bronzer stayed a little bit better on this day. 
And when I looked at the video footage, I basically said the same thing. It looks like the blush and bronzer stayed on a little bit better. Um, looks like the foundation stayed on a little bit better as well. Actually, in, sorry, in my video, I think it looked like the VDL side was a little bit better. But looking at the photo, I think maybe it just looked a bit smoother on the VDL side. Yeah, now that I'm looking at the photo, maybe that's what it was. I think the foundation, you know, is still there on both sides, but maybe it looks a little bit smoother on the cheek area. Like, it's not as shiny, at least looking in the photo. That's the only thing I can see from the photo. So yeah, again, it was a kind of like a, this one was a day where it was really difficult to tell. And I feel like from here on out, it was really difficult to tell what was going on. Day four. So day four, I decided to not test any primer and just test it against uh, on my bare skin. And the foundation I used here was the L'Oreal Infallible in 435. I did comment in the video that I did see some pilling around my jawline with this foundation. Now this foundation is a pretty dry foundation. So I think that's what would cause pilling. The ABH one is also a bit dry and I commented that in the video. So if it's a bit of a drier formula, it's probably not gonna work well with the milk primer. Again, looking at the photo, the milk side maybe looks slightly better. I don't know. Like you guys can make your own conclusions looking at the photos. This is just me trying to look at this. And the fact that I find it really hard to tell makes this really difficult. It makes it really difficult to come to any sort of conclusive results in terms of how good this uh, primer works in terms of the claim of being hydro grip. On day five, I tested this against the Nude by Nature primer and I used my Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation in Ivory. Now, I didn't realize Nude by Nature doesn't seem to be easily accessible in the States, but it looks like it's available in like the UK and Europe. I think it comes from the UK. We can get it here at Shoppers Drug Mart. Again, this was a day where it's like maybe, maybe a little bit, but honestly, looking at both sides, it's really, really hard to tell. For day five in the video, I just said really couldn't see a difference between both sides. Oh, this day was interesting. So again, looking at the photo, it's not very apparent in the photo, maybe a little bit. I had super oily skin by the end of the day. Actually, you can see it if you look around the nose area on the milk side, like look how shiny my nose is. And I don't have oily skin. So I guess maybe word of warning, stay away from the even better glow foundation if you have oily skin because I need to try this out again. I don't think I've worn this foundation since this filming day. So I don't know if it was just a fluke on that day or if this primer definitely, you know, will cause a bit more oiliness to occur. It is called Even Better Glow, so it might have some oils in it that could um, act with your, your skin's oils. Anyway, we're talking about the primer. Again, really hard to see any difference. Again, maybe around the ear, it looks a little bit better around like the bronzer side in the photo. Day six, so we're halfway done. So again, this is the days where I wore the Puranata translucent powder as my setting powder. And that was the only thing different in terms of all of her face makeup that I used differently besides the things I'm testing. So on this day, I did nothing on the one side of my face and I did the Hydro Grip on the other. And the foundation I used on day six was the CoverGirl True Blend uh, Matte Made in M20. Looking at this photo, I really don't see a difference. I don't know, maybe you guys do. I'd like to hear what your opinion is in terms of looking at these photos and what you see, but I really can't tell a difference. Again, this is a matte foundation, so maybe this foundation, you know, just sits a bit better on my skin. I Again, normal skin, I couldn't see any difference. For video comments, I said, reviewing the video, it looks like the Hydro Glip Hydro Grip side has a little bit more foundation. So there you go. The video side, I definitely saw, or I, I looks like I said I saw a bit more foundation. Day seven, oh God, okay, <laughs> don't judge me. The blending is horrible. I did notice after I filmed the intro that the blending was bad. I did try and fix it a little bit later. It still wasn't 100%, but this is what happened. So this day I tested the Milk Primer against the Hourglass Primer and the foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And as I said, the, the shade foundation for this is not great for me. I like the foundation. I really like the um, consistency of it. It does feel really nice. It goes on really nice. If I blended it better, it looks really nice. Oh, I can see all sorts of dry patches around my nose. That's awesome. <sighs> Looking at the photos again, 
maybe a little bit on the milk side, on the cheek area near the nose. It looks like there's a bit more foundation. And again, looks like maybe the bronzer is on a little bit better still. Not a whole lot of difference. From the video side, I really don't know what happened on day seven, but for whatever reason, the video was out of focus. Even in the morning to the evening, it was out of focus both times. The blending was terrible. Day seven was kind of like a wash. Um, and looking at the video footage, you really couldn't see a difference between the two primers. Again, maybe that means that the Hourglass primer actually holds onto foundation as well. Like, maybe it's also fairly good for that property. Day eight, I... Again, this is where I went back and used the Fab uh, Pores Be Gone Primer. And the foundation I used here was the Tarte Clay Stick in Light Beige. I really like this foundation, by the way. Uh, it feels really good going on, especially after using the ABH one. I liked the ABH one when I bought it. I thought it was really good, but then you use it in comparison to this one. And this one is just so much creamier, blends so much easier. Yeah, just it's much more of a dream to work with. So again, looking at the photos here, I guess I see a little bit of a difference. I think the milk side again looks like it held on to maybe a little bit more of the foundation compared to the fab side. But again, this is what's interesting is the first day that I used this primer, which was day two against like the fab primer against the milk primer, it was the only day that I really felt like I noticed a difference. I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh yeah, the milk primer definitely held on to the foundation. Use testing this again, but with a different foundation, I feel like the Fab Primer doesn't really look a whole lot different. So yeah, Ugh, I can't even see my crusty nose. I'm sorry. I was definitely experiencing allergies when I was filming this and blowing my nose a lot. Day nine. So day nine and day 10, I actually have two photos. I did a morning comparing to midday and then a morning compared to evening. So day nine, I used the Professional Primer against the Milk Primer and I, used, I went back and used the ABH stick in Cool Beige. Again, I found that the Cool Beige, uh, the ABH stick had pilling. So what I, I talked about this in the video, you definitely have to let the Hydro Grip Primer set before you try and go in with foundation or you will have a bad time, particularly with a very dry foundation. It did not work. Um, I did talk about in the video that I felt like my foundation looked really crappy, but when I look at the photos and I look at the video, it actually doesn't look that bad. Um, maybe I was just talking about like the experience of putting it on, it just did not feel good. Anyway, looking at midday, I feel like both sides look really good. I feel like the benefit side looks almost exactly as good. Like I'm looking at the coverage, you can see sort of my um, brown spots and the coverage looks pretty good on both. Looking at the evening photo, again, I really don't see a huge difference. Maybe, to be honest, the benefit side looks a little bit better in my opinion. Um, at least around the cheek area, like around the uh, jawline area and closer to my ear. Even around the cheek area, I, I don't really see a whole lot of difference. It's so hard. I can't figure this one out. Okay, and day 10. So day 10, I used the Touch and Soul Primer against the Milk Primer, and the foundation I used was the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation. Again, this is a foundation that I haven't really used. I don't know why. I feel like I just didn't like it the first time I used it, so I've kind of put it away, and then... I really enjoyed using it this time and I've used it a few times since and I'm like, I really should have get back on that. So again, I did a picture of morning and midday. Really don't see any difference. I would say maybe on the milk side, the foundation looks a bit smoother, even compared to the morning. Um, but definitely by midday, it looks like it's a little bit smoother. But in terms of like gripping, I don't think it looks a whole lot different. And then if we look at the evening photo on the day 10th tenth, tenth day, again, this day it actually in the photo looks a little bit oily. I don't remember seeing that in the video. I can't see a difference, to be honest. Both sides look fine. Like the wear looks the same. I mean, there's definitely like no foundation. It feels like the foundation just wears off, to be honest. When I was looking at the video footage and looking at the photos, I'm like, it looks like my foundation just disappears. My face just eats it. I don't know where it goes. Before we head into the video footage, I do want to make a couple of overall commentaries about the video footage. First of all, I say okay a lot <laughs> when I start a day or start a video. Don't know why I do that. Probably should stop it. It's kind of annoying. I did film all of this in September, so you'll hear me talk about September dates. Just took me a while to get around to actually complete completing 
uh, the editing of this and I really wanted to review all the footage very carefully as best as I could so it just took a lot longer to get around to that. The video might feel a little bit choppy. I was filming uh, face primers as well as eyeshadow primers so yes there will be an eyeshadow primer video coming shortly so it, it'll feel a little bit choppy because I tried to cut those bits out when I do that video. It might feel a bit deja vu like because you're like I think I saw this video footage before and, and yes you did <laughs> because I am obviously going to be using some of the same video footage um, for that and I'm actually really excited for that video it's very interesting results okay this is just a quick intro to the testing that I'm doing this is day one it is Sunday September the 13th I'm testing two things right now I'm testing eyeshadow primer and I'm testing um, the milk hydro grip primer so I have the milk Hydro Grip Primer on this side of my face. Um, the only comment I want to make on the Hydro Grip Primer is it did seem to pill up a little bit this morning. I'm using it the Anastasia Stick Foundation and I used a brush to uh, spread that foundation out. I did put the foundation on this side and let the primer sit for a bit on this side so I don't know if that was, I maybe let the primer sit for too long. But anyway, I've got a puppy that would like some attention. So that's that quick little intro. Okay. Just wanted to film an update on day one on the eyeshadow primer and the face onto the primer. So I can't really tell. It's going to be a little hard today. A lot of the foundation is off around my mouth because I did that lip swatch video and I felt like I was rubbing it, rubbing off my foundation quite a bit. I also was sneezing earlier, so I feel like I rubbed a lot of foundation off my nose. I think in the video you could see some of the pilling. I think it could be a combination of that foundation and or application technique was not very good. So again, I'm going to try it with different foundation. I'm going to maybe try it with a sponge, see how it works. But yeah, this is the side that I don't have the Hydro Grip Primer on. And this is the side that I do have it on. So I don't know. I can't really tell looking, to be honest, and looking in the mirror if either side looks better if it does look like it held on to the foundation a little bit more or not i'll have to see when i'm editing and again that maybe still be like a big mm, i don't know that's part of this testing i mean i've done some testing with other products in the past and i didn't film it because i was like well i don't see the difference but maybe that's okay like that's the actual results of the test there is no difference. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to again try it uh, with different foundation, different technique, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, I meant, forgot to mention the time. It is about 6.30 right now. It's approximately 8 hours since I put my makeup on. I'm pretty sure I put it on around 10, 10.30. It's Sunday, so it's a little bit later than usual. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got the update in before uh, the sunset because it's setting earlier and earlier. Okay. Testing day two, and we're testing both primer and eye primer. <laughs> primers and primers. And then on my face today, I have the Hydro Grip on this side, and I have the Fab uh, Poreless Primer. I forget what it's called. Uh, it's a pore minimizing primer on this side, although it doesn't felt more just like a moisturizing primer. So let's we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyway, and I used my Maybelline Matte. And poreless foundation and I used a sponge and I also last night exfoliated with my Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel and did a little bit of a face shade so hopefully my skin looks a little better today. I was quickly reviewing footage yesterday and I was like wow my skin was real bad yesterday. So I'll take some photos and then I will check in probably around 536. It's about quarter after 8, 20 after 8 right now. Okay, it's a quick little check-in. Uh, it's about 10 to 6 on day 2. I have no idea how things are holding up. I haven't really looked at all. This is the side with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And again, I'll take pictures to see what it looks like. This side I did put the Fab, I forget what it's called, Fab Matte Pore Minimizer type primer. Okay, I just looked in the mirror and hopefully it shows up on camera, but in person there's a definite noticeable difference on this side of my face, especially like right around here. Like I have no foundation, whereas on this side it looks pretty good still. Like it looks very smooth and like the foundation stayed. It's, it's very noticeable in the mirror. I don't know if it's gonna be picked up on camera, but I am definitely noticing on this side 
my foundation definitely looks much more worn off than on this side. Okay, today is day three of testing. Again, testing face primers and eye primers at the same time. Probably a bit crazy, but kill two birds with one stone. So, I have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer on this side, I think. And I have the, I wrote, wrote it down, and I have the VDL uh, Lumi Layer on this side, which is a primer that I rarely ever use. Um, so, this is how things are looking this morning. So, I'll take some photos, and then we'll check in again. Uh, it's about 9.30 right now, so I'm starting a little later in terms of check-in, but my makeup's been on for a little while. And I just want to say... I miss wearing lip colors like this. I really like this. This is the CoverGirl Vintage Wine. Um, I've just not really been wearing lipsticks, more wearing like lip balms and lip glosses lately because of masks. So it's just nice to wear, wear a pretty, pretty lipstick. I miss, I miss you. I miss you lipsticks. Just a really quick midday update on the foundation. I am definitely noticing a difference on this side compared to this side. I feel like I'm wearing makeup off here and yeah that's just really interesting because i think this is the vdl side um but i am noticing i feel like my bronzer looks better on this side anyway just a really quick check-in that it's hard to tell but i feel like and again i touch my face a lot which is really hard um and i've been blowing my nose a lot because i had allergies today review footage to really see what's going on but Okie dokie. So I have the milk primer. Oh, I can't remember. I want to say on this side of my face and nothing on this side. I'm also just finding, like, I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference these days, but my skin is fairly normal right now. It's not dry. It's not oily. I also am not doing a whole lot. <laughs> it's a little thing called COVID. So I feel like had I been doing more like going, walking to work, walking home, walking to get groceries, going to the gym, all those things that I normally do, I would have a better test. But I feel like because I, I really do nothing these days but stay at home and work, um, we're not getting a whole lot of testing happening. So anyway, I'll take some pictures and oh my god, I have to show you Harley. Harley does this little thing and it's super cute. Look at that good boy standing. Oh, who's a good boy? You're <laughs> such a weirdo. It's so cute. What's that on his own? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take some pictures, and then that'll be the morning check-in. It's like 10 o'clock. kind of forgot to check in earlier. Okay, it is end of day. I don't know if this is day four or day five of testing. I want to say day four. And, okay, so let's talk about the face. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I can see a difference using the Milk Makeup Primer. Um, I think my cheeks look a little different because I was testing blush earlier. That video will be up way before this one. And I definitely, like I put the deeper blush on this side and then I tried to blend them together. So I feel like the blush is sitting stronger on this side just because of that. So there's that. And I found, again, I was getting pilling along here and around here. I'm finding with this primer, it really makes a difference in terms of what foundation you're using. I've also noticed, reviewing the footage, briefly, different foundations really sit very different on my face. Um, and some look pretty good, like when I'm filming, but then like up close like this, it's like, whoa, that looks real bad. Like the texture of my skin can look really intense. Um, depending on what foundation I'm wearing. So I definitely feel like I want to do maybe a foundation video. And like, again, by end of day, like I was reviewing my footage end of day yest yesterday and I was like, whoa, my foundation looks so bad. Anyway, so yeah, just pretty interesting to see how some foundations wear really badly. Again, I'm not feeling like the Milk Primer is really doing a whole lot for me. Um, but again, I noticed that it does seem to work differently with different foundations, like, I don't know, better for worse, but maybe just the different foundations work different, I don't know. So, yeah, that's it. End of, I think, day four testing. I might not do the sort of, like, in-depth reviews. I might do one more day like this, and then I'm going to do one more week of testing, 
but I'll just maybe do photos and notes. Not commentary, because we don't need we don't need comments from the peanut gallery anymore. I'm getting tired. Alright, that's it for now. Bye. Okay. Early morning check-in. It is day five. And I am doing another primer primer test. So this side of my face has the Milk Hydro Grip. This side actually has the Nude by Nature Primer. Um, they feel very, very different. This one's very sticky. This one has a bit of tack, but definitely feels like a moisturizer. So we'll see how that works. I'm wearing my one of my favorite foundations. At least I think it's one of my favorite foundations. I'll see in the footage if I'm like, wow, that foundation looks terrible. I feel like the color is off for me right now. I don't know. And then check in later, and it's about 8 in the morning right now. Good morning! You going to focus, camera? Let's focus. Oh my goodness. You were just so cute. Okay, real quick check in. I think it's around 10 after 7. I think this is my day 5. It is Thursday. I have no idea, again what anything looks like. I'll have to review the footage in terms of like quality. Um, I just feel like my face looks super, at least earlier today when I looked in the mirror, it looked really oily. Like my face is very shiny today and I don't know if that's the foundation or if that's like hormones, <laughs> something. So you can hear a little uh, Harley in the back probably. It's time for a walk so we're gonna go for a little walk. Okay, today is day six. I need to put something on my lips because I look dead. <laughs> and I have the Hydro Grip Primer on this side of my face. Nothing on this side. I have the, and it's about 10.30ish on Saturday, September the 19th. So we'll take some photos and then we'll check in at the end of the day as usual. Okay, it is about 6.30, so it's about eight hours since my last check-in, and I can't tell my face, so again, I'll take photos and we'll see how this looks. I feel like the Milk Primer, let's see if I can adjust this, there we go. I feel like the Milk Primer just, maybe it's my skin type, I have pretty normal skin type. I feel like maybe if I had really oily skin, or again, I kind of try to sheer my foundation out. Maybe if I had um, more full coverage foundation, it would be different. I don't know. Anyway, we'll take photos and see how it goes. It's the end of day six. Okay, this is day seven testing. So again, testing eyeshadow primer and face primer. <laughs> Sorry, little noisy puppy behind me. I've got the Milk Hydro Primer on this side. I've got the Hourglass Veil Primer on this side. I'm using a foundation that <laughs> is so not the right color. Um, and I think, unfortunately, they've discontinued it because I think it's, um, I like the formula. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Glow. Check in later today. So this is day seven. I think I'm gonna do three more days. I'm gonna do 10 days and then we will do the results. I'm not looking forward to editing this. <laughs> Okay, it's about four o'clock on day seven. It's actually Monday, September 21st. I'm checking in a little early today because I'm going to be filming and I want to take this makeup off to film a different makeup look. Face-wise, again, hard to tell. I feel like my maybe my cheek products have stuck a little bit better on the milk makeup side. Um, or sorry, on the hourglass side. This is the milk makeup side. This is the hourglass side. So I just feel like, for some reason, the Milk Makeup one is okay, but it's not, it's not really doing much for me, which I'm super surprised. I kind of, based on the texture of it and how people rave about it, I thought it would be more magical. Okay, we're on day eight of primer and primer testing. So we're doing the primer on the face. I have the Hydro Grip primer on this side. I have the Fab primer on this side. Um, the pore minimizing one. I need to pull out another couple primers um, to test because I feel like I've, I know I've already done the fab one, so and I know I have others I should try. So, oh, and the foundation I'm wearing is the Tarte Clay Stick. So when I tried the ABH stick foundation, I had pilling on this side. Super speedy check out <laughs> uh, day eight. 
can't tell the difference on my face, eyeshadow looks good. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to take photos and then we are done. I think I'm getting a zipped. Okay, day nine of testing. Second last day. I'm going to test for one more day and then we're done. So again, this is the primer and primer testing. Not happy with the face look. <laughs> so I have the Pore Professional on this side and I have the Milk Primer on this side and I again tried my ABH foundation stick. The last time I did that, use that foundation, I had put the Milk Primer on this side or whatever side and then I would let it set, like dry a little and then I put the foundation on and I had a ton of pilling and I was like ugh. So I thought, let's go back and try that. Well, number one, because the ABH stick foundation is, I would say it's dry, like I, it's not the word I want, it's stiff. It's much stiffer, it's not nearly as creamy as the Tarte one. So when I tried to apply it, it just like, it wouldn't stick to my face because the milk primer was there. And so I, again, kind of had to like layer it. So I tried to like push in as much of the foundation as I could patted it in with the sponge and it was really sheer so then sorry my arms getting tired holding this for some reason this morning and so then I kind of had to go in with like multiple layers and then it still eventually peeled so note to self the ABH stick foundation and the milk primer do not go together so yeah I just kind of feel like my foundation today <laughs> It's not the best. I kind of was going to wash it off, but then I was like, no, just make it work. And yeah, so that's where we're at today. And I know I'm going to ask myself later <laughs> about this lip color. The liner is Button and the lipstick is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So let's take some photos and we'll check in at the end of the day. All right, I'm losing my light here. I forgot to film this earlier. It's about 7 o'clock on day 9. It's actually Wednesday, September 20. Third, and yeah you can see me in the mirror behind there <laughs> anyway again I have no idea what's going on with the face I did take midday pictures today I remembered to do that because I thought maybe that's a better test because it's almost been 12 hours <laughs> since I did my makeup oh my god so yeah let's just do some pictures and end this let's end it <laughs> Try and hold the camera a little further away while I'm talking <laughs> so you're not right up my nose. This is day 10. So this is the last day I'm testing the primers and primers testing. Um, yay, I'm glad to be done testing. Not looking forward to editing because I think this is going to be tricky to edit. Anyway, on my face today I have the milk primer on this side and I have the No Problems uh, Touch and Soul Primer on this side. And the foundation I'm using is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir, which I think they've actually discontinued in Canada. It had a different name in the States, but I think it was like called Healthy Elixir, but in Canada, there's like regulations that you couldn't call it healthy, I think. So anyway, the whole point about talking about that foundation is I'm kind of liking it. I remember when I got it, I did not like it. I felt like it was very, sounds weird, but like wet, like it never seemed to really settle down and it kind of moved around but I don't know I applied it this morning and I was like oh kind of liking how that looks so again I'll see what it looks like in the camera in person I liked how it looked I'm not sure again on camera there's sometimes when I see a foundation on in person I'm like oh I really like that and then I look at on camera and I'm like oh it does not look good so that's the foundation okay this is final check-in on day 10 it is Thursday September 24th uh, around 6.37, somewhere in that range, I think 6.30. Gonna lose my light because sunset's like 7 o'clock now. So yeah, we're just gonna do the final photos again. Don't think the face primer is really doing a whole lot compared to other primers or not primer at all. Face primer, kind of a letdown. So my final thoughts on this product. Does it really work? Sort of. <laughs> Um, I did find on some days that I think it did work. Now, by saying that, to me it's like, does it really work then? Not really, like at the same time, because, and again, maybe this is an expectation thing. I think with the hype of this product and the claims of this product, I really expected my foundation to like 
really be obvious compared to either no primer or other primers that it stayed on. I even continued trying this after, like you can see I'm pretty much all the way th almost through it. I'm like two thirds through it. And even days after that I tested it, I still didn't see any major difference at the end of the day. Now, what else did I learn from this? <laughs> I think my face eats my makeup. <laughs> like My makeup just disappeared on some days. I'm like, I don't know where it went. And I mean, I did talk about, you know, I do touch my face. It's really hard to like, I'm not super conscious about how much I touch my face, but I do know I touch my face. I do blow my nose. I do kiss my dog. So I know that my foundation will probably not be perfect by the end of the day, but I was hoping to see a very obvious difference by using this. And it actually almost made me, I've filmed other or done other testing on products and didn't really see a difference and then so I never actually like published a video for it and I almost felt the same about this. I really questioned posting this video. I feel like some people are going to like be like it works for me and that's great if it does work for you. I'm really curious to know if it works for you what kind of skin type you have. In my mind I feel like if you have oily skin type this probably will work for you because I feel like it does sort of form a barrier and a layer that would probably prevent the oils from making your foundation move around a lot. I don't know, again, I'm just guessing. Did I like it? Yeah, will I continue to use this? Yes, will I actually buy it again? Probably not. The other thing that I learned, there's two other things I learned. The other thing I learned is I really wanna go back and test some of my other primers, particularly for me, um, a priority for me is pore filling and some of my pore filling ones I don't I don't think they're really pore filling either like I'm really questioning are primers really actually doing anything so I mean look out for that because I think I want to try and test some of my other uh, primers to see if they're actually working again particularly pore, pore filling if you do watch the video footage you'll see I have a lot of texture um, around here and here I used to have really oily skin I used to have a lot of acne so my pores are very large and actually even though they look large in the video or you see that texture it's miles better than it was years ago from the skincare that I do use now. The other thing I did learn too is wow foundations are also very different so primers are going to work differently with different foundations and different foundations are going to look very different on your face depending on the properties of the foundation so that's another thing i want to test i definitely want to go back through my foundations and and really test them and test them with different primers because like yeah the the primer and the foundation definitely will make or break um how it works together some things just really work well together and th some things don't I hope that wasn't too disappointing for you. I really wanted to have a video where I was like, yes, it really works, or no, it doesn't work at all. Like something that was really obvious and it wasn't. I feel like, again, it probably leans more to like, ah, it doesn't really work. But again, if you look at some photos and when I look at some of the video footage, I'm like, yeah, on the milk side, I think I do see that it does, it kept, maybe not about the foundation, but the makeup on top of the foundation, it sort of kept that more intact. That's what I came up with. That is what my testing resulted in. I hoped you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, stay safe, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.